I'm your host Anne-Marie. Welcome back to my channel. Today let me talk you through the fascinating world of art and creativity, exploring a topic I know affects many artists. I still wonder from time to time, can I actually draw? So my topic today is the imposter syndrome. Have you ever felt like a fraud, doubting your own talents and accomplishments? If so, you're not alone. In this video, we'll uncover 10 reasons why artists often suffer from the imposter syndrome and provide some helpful insights to overcome it. Just before we start, please hit the like button and then click subscribe so you can get my regular updates. So, are you ready? Let's dive right in. Reason 1. Comparison Trap Artists frequently compare themselves to more successful or talented individuals, undermining their own accomplishments. In today's connected world of technology, it's easy to compare ourselves to others, especially with social media platforms showcasing seemingly flawless artwork, making it seem so easy. But remember, every artist has their own unique journey, style and perspective. Embrace your individuality and focus on your personal growth rather than comparing yourself to others. If you suffer with comparing yourself to others, please remember, those artists that you admire had to start at the beginning. They persevered and committed to regular practice. Reason 2. High expectations. Artists tend to set high expectations for themselves. This is something I can hold my hands up to. In the beginning, I expected to do professional artwork even though it was my day one. The pressure to create exceptional art can sometimes be overwhelming. It's important to remember that art is a process of growth and not every piece needs to be a masterpiece. So my suggestion if you suffer with this is to embrace the learning experience and give yourself permission to make mistakes. Remember, even the greatest artist had to start somewhere. Reason 3. Fear of failure. Artists worry that they will be exposed as frauds if they don't meet expectations. You know you suffer with the imposter syndrome if the fear of failure often lurks in the back of your minds. This fear will continue to fuel the imposter syndrome. This fear can paralyse creativity and prevent you as an artist from exploring new ideas or taking risks. Remember, failure is not a reflection of your worth as an artist. I suggest that you learn how to embrace failures as valuable lessons and stepping stones towards your greater improvement. Reason 4. Lack of recognition. Artists may feel their work goes unnoticed or undervalued, intensifying feelings of inadequacy. I believe every artist at some point in their artistic journey will thrive on recognition and validation for their work. When that recognition is lacking, it can contribute to feelings of inadequacy. However, I want you to remember that true artistic fulfilment comes from within. If you suffer with this, I would say to you, focus on creating art that resonates with you, and eventually, the recognition will follow. So don't let external validation define your worth. Reason 5. Perfectionism. Artists set extremely high standards for themselves and feel inadequate when they fall short. Do you often find yourself striving for perfection and seeking flawlessness in every pencil stroke or the brush or line on the canvas? This is one of the most common traits I found with people suffering with the imposter syndrome, not just in the art world, but other areas of their life. If you are a perfectionist, then most likely you do suffer with the imposter syndrome one day expecting to be found out you're nothing but a fraudster. This pursuit of perfection can be a double-edged sword. It can lead to self-doubt and dissatisfaction with one's own work. However, if you learn to embrace the beauty of imperfections and recognise that they contribute to your unique artistic style, by learning to embracing painting over the lines, drawing outside the box, you will start to discover the freedom of not being a perfectionist. Reason 6. Lack of confidence. Artists often question their own abilities and feel like they are faking it. Many artists struggle with self-confidence, doubting their abilities and feeling like they don't deserve success. Remember, confidence is not something you're born with, it's something you develop over time. Surround yourself with a supportive artistic community, seek constructive feedback and celebrate your achievements, no matter how small. 
You could search for online art communities and attend meeting people all over the world. Practice your art every day and you will soon find yourself becoming more confident. Sometimes painting or drawing the same piece a few times can help you become more familiar with the process. Reason 7. Constantly evolving artistic identity. Artists are constantly evolving and exploring new styles, techniques and concepts. This continuous growth can sometimes create a sense of uncertainty, leading to the imposter syndrome. You should try to embrace the fluidity of your artistic identity and trust the process of self-discovery. Remember, it's okay to experiment and redefine yourself as an artist. Reason 8. Negative feedback. Negative feedback is an inevitable part of an artist's journey. It can be difficult to handle, especially when it reinforces self-doubt. Let's be real, some people may not understand your style of art, so you've got to trust your process and your style as an artist. Just because negative feedback may come from one person, there will be many others that will embrace what you do. They will be your audience. So instead of letting negative feedback discourage you, use it as an opportunity for growth. Constructive criticism can provide valuable insights and help you refine your skills. Reason 9. Internalising past failures. Artists often carry the weight of past failures, allowing them to define their present and future. By now, if you do suffer with the imposter syndrome, you've probably identified with most of my list. Internalising on past failures is another reason you probably resonate with. My friend, it's crucial to let go of the past and forgive yourself for any perceived mistakes. Each new artwork is a chance for a fresh start and a new opportunity to express yourself authentically. Embrace the present moment and trust in your artistic journey. Reason 10. Feeling like a fraud. The ultimate manifestation of the imposter syndrome is feeling like a fraud, as if you don't deserve the success and recognition you've achieved. This feeling is a common experience shared by many artists. This is the imposter syndrome feeling a fraud even though on paper you have all the qualifications that show otherwise. If you feel a fraud, this is because you are on the journey to realise and recognise you have art within that people want to see and buy. In order to learn how not to feel a fraud, you must practise. Without continuous practice, you will continue to feel as if you're starting from step one. So, learn to embrace your accomplishments and acknowledge the hard work and dedication you've put into your craft. You are not a fraud, but a talented artist with a unique voice. So my budding artist, I've taken you through the 10 reasons I believe why some artists suffer with the imposter syndrome. If you resonated with any of these reasons, know that you're not alone. By recognising and understanding these underlying causes, you can take steps to overcome the imposter syndrome and embrace your artistic journey with confidence. Remember, your voice as an artist is valuable and deserves to be heard. So check out my video on overcoming the imposter syndrome for artists. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more insightful content. And as always, keep creating and never let self-doubt hinder your artistic expression. See you in the next video.